だってばよ。Hey guys, it's Yoko. Since Japan is known for its huge animation industry, I always get asked, What does だってばよ mean? だってばよ itself is not a familiar word in Japanese. As far as I know, it's not even a dialect. Apparently, it's an ending particle created by the author to make Naruto characteristic. We call it kime zerifu. Zerifu is a line. Kime comes from a verb. Kimeru. It basically means to decide, but in this context, it means more like score, as in goal o kimeru, or we also say like kesho shinsu o kimeru, or pose o kimeru. So, kime zerifu is the line that represents the character, like. Or, oh, my childhood. So I said, that t e b a y o is only created for Naruto, but it's not that it doesn't have any meaning. If it just, that t e b a is so familiar for us, do you know what it means? That t e b a is basically like, I'm telling you, or I told you. When you have to tell or explain the same thing over and over again, you say, like, Nani Nani, that t e b a Eh, honto nan, sore. いや、ほんとほんと。ほんとにレイディガガだったのそれ。ファンのコスプレじゃなくてマジで本人だったんだってば。え、で、ほんとに今日ここに来んのうん、来るって言ってた。この店にうん。ほんとにうん、マジで来るんだってば。ほら、来るってツイートしてる。えっと、今日は駅渋谷でいいんだよね。うん。で、何口八チいや、JR の東口。オッケー。あれ、今日八チ口でいいんだっけだから東口だってば。You could also say, 何々だって。And depending on where you put the accent on, it could mean differently. 本人だった。本人 means the person himself or herself. And this だった is past tense. If you drop だ it's present. And when you say just 本人だった it's plain. But when you say 本人だったんだ it could be something you didn't know, something surprising, or even shocking. As I said before, depending on where you put the accent on, Even the exact same phrase could have different meaning. 本人だったんだ。Did you hear it? It went like, 本人だったんだ。It went down like this. And when you say it like this, it means it's a hearsay. So in English, it would be like, wow, so it was her. When you're the one who feeds this information, you should go like, 本人だったんだ。本人だったんだ。It goes down then, goes up like this. In English, it would be like, I'm telling you, it was her. So here's the next phrase. It's basically, 本人だった plus だって。だっただって sounds weird and is hard to pronounce, so it goes, だったんだって。Like the previous one, this one has two ways to pronounce as well. The first one, 本人だったんだって。It went like, 本人だったんだって。If you put the accent on て、it means it's a hearsay. In English, it would be like, he told me that it was really her. So the other one, You know the drill. When you're the one that feels the information, it goes like, 本人だったんだって。本人だったんだって。You put the accent on だ。In English, it goes like, I told you hundred times, it was her. And also, when coming after infinitive verb, you could drop だ。You could say like, いくってば。So, what is the difference between いくってば and いくんだってば、oh, This is a tough one. いくってば is like, Relax, I'm going. Jeez. ちょっともう時間でしょ早く行きなさい。ああ、もう今行くってば。行くんだってば。On the other hand, it's more like, I said I'm going. I'm sorry, but it's already decided. It's concrete. I have no other choice but going, okay? えマジでニューヨーク、うん、来月からえ、ちょっと待って。だってさ、仕事とかどうすんのえ、急じゃないけどさ、本気で言ってんのマジでね。だから行くんだってはもう決めたの。Does it make sense?I hope so.Thank you for watching.I hope it was helpful.Don't hesitate to leave a comment if you have any questions.Also let me know if you have any other things you want me to cover.If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!